Hello everyone, this is Mr. Mouse and today I'll just do a quick one just a quick multi-x um, exploring so in this last multi-x I will just look at a uh, GOG game called Max and I will open this max.res file I promise you it will be a quick one so this is a fairly easy one, it's a fairly old game and uh, usually uh, this this is a uh, easy format so if you open it up you see this here right you see res 0 which is probably the identifier and then you see something like this which could easily be a pointer to a tail location many files many archives have um, resource information at the back of a file that makes it easy because you just add all the resources and then put the tail behind it when you're done so anyway let's just go there and let's see if this is indeed a pointer to yes this seems to be like a if you look at this here these are all file names right and it starts here so let's just bookmark this for a moment as um, tail so we can go back to there at a later time point and see what this is here above is some file or some script for the game probably this is a file name which is as you can see eight bytes in length and then it starts something with C and 8. Now if you remember going back here this particular part just at the beginning is rest 0 which is the identifier of the um, archive. You move on and you will find this pointer to the tail right you go on again and you find something like this 29248 so what could that be because this is C and that could very well be the start of and something that is starting an 8 in size alright so what is this is this the number of files I doubt it about 30,000 files in this archive not a chance maybe that's the size of the tail so 7240 go there go to end 7240 so this selection the tail is indeed the, uh, the, the size so now we know that this is ID or magic word or whatever you want to call that this particular part is the offset of the tail and this is the size of the tail right so if we're going to do a script in multi expander which we're going to do right now I'll just open this one up yeah yeah whatever this do a script which is mm, max uh, res format we are gonna say id string in file 0 is res 0 right I don't think you'll find any faults for that now so that's one then we have the pointer to the tail so we get tail offset long 0 just to be sure we can actually go save position so the current position after reading the res zero uh, ID string, we save this as 
um, the tail offset offset of obviously in file zero, which is the first file that is opened, which is the res file. We got the tail offset. We got the tail offset offset, and then we um, need to save tail save tail size offset because that's next. Then get the tail size, which is a long, which is four bytes, and then we're done. Right, so then we have the start. Now, like I said, we now know tail size, and we also know based on the entries here. Let me see where I can find the bookmark here. So it's pretty old. It's just got file names that are eight in size, and then the offset, and then probably the size. That's pretty easy, but all in all, well that's 16 bytes. So one entry in this tail, depicting one file in the archive, giving it a name, an offset, and a size, is in total 16 bytes. So we can say set file num on zero. So we just say we create a variable called file num and we say that's zero. Now actually that's stupid. What we do is we uh, long it's a long obviously but it's not zero it is tail size. Yeah. Now we do math file num so we are divided divided by 16. Now we have the number of files in this archive. So we can do a for t is 1 to file them. And we can read the entries. So to do that we go to the tail offset in this file, then we at this particular position we read the file name, so we get um, d string, which is a string of a determined number of characters, uh, file name 8 in file 0. We get we save the position file offset offset zero get file offset long zero save the position now which is a file size offset get file size long zero now we're done so we got all the uh, stuff we need and then we say log file name file offset file size and then the file offset offset and the file size offset okay that's how the log works and we can do this until we have all files so theoretically I'm doing this right, this should be the script. So I'll just save this somewhere in multi x commander. That's, that's okay. I could also just go here and say, you know what, give me this particular directory to save and say res. Check it. It doesn't like it, so we made an error somewhere. Let's see if all before the 4 is okay. Nope, there's an error there. 
for the tail out, that's right, so it found a long tail size. Um, I think maybe there's an error in this one. Let's see. No, not necessarily. Um, it's getting late and it's I need to check. Let's see. There is a problem right before that. Oh, this is stupid. Obviously, there is this error there. Let's see. Okay, good. So we enable the debugger. Make sure we save this again. Yes, we overwrite. Max script is going to be run, not quick BMS. And then we use it on the file with the uh, debugger on. So where's this res file? Um, what was the name again? Max. Oh, it's easy. Max. Dot res. There we go. Open. Step. Save position of the tail offset offset. We set the position 4 in the file, yes. This is the offset. This is the size of the tail part. So that's 1828 files, which seems reasonable. Jump to the start. Cutting the size of 8, yes. So the first file name. Starting at position 12 in the file. 8 in size. Should work. Logging. Going to the next. And so forth. So I'll just stop this. Cancel. Exit. And we should have a number of files here. Interesting, interesting. Okay. So what obviously needs to be done is getting these files out and then um, exploring some some more to figure out what kind of files these are. But let's first just run the scripts um, without the debugger because it seems to work fine. So max.res, open it, there we go. 1828 files all the way down very interesting stuff here sound volume unit volumes so if you can somehow get this script back in uh, after changing it you can alter the game Yeah, the, the preview windows here. So all kinds of stuff is in here. I don't know what that is. All right, so that works. Um, that's okay. That's okay. Okay, good, good, good. So now you know, we can extract all stuff. I'll just make a new folder here called Extracted. Then select this path and go. Uh, no, 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 I, let's just select all and do it again. Go. As you can see, it's extracting all files in this max.res archive. So we can wait until it's finished, but um, as you can see, oh, there we go. As you can see, 
this works perfectly well it's a pretty easy format and you can use the script now to open it and uh, perhaps I will tweak it some more because I think if I, I've, I would just add here imp type standard tail Let's see it yeah it likes th it likes that I use that on this res just let's try again so theoretically it would say that I can actually change this I don't think it'll work let me just say that but let's just see if because I don't think that the size parameter um, is saved when multi x commander changes this stuff. Let, let, let's just see. So we open up the the editor, and so should see all kinds of file. Where's the preview window? There we go. Not good because I still can't see it. Here we go. Get me the preview window. So we've got these units volumes, right? So let's see if we can actually change this. So we we got them here as extracted as well. Soundfall. The game must have been pretty thorough in making sure all these file names are not alike. So here's the file soundfall. Can I just open this with my favorite notepad? So let's just say this is the I don't know, general idle whatever volume and it's now at 20, I will make it 60. No, oh, don't want more. No, 60. I'll save this. So I change this into 60. In the file is 20. This one should be 60, yeah. Target this one for replacement. Let's see. See if that'll work. I think it will crash. But let's do. Let's go. Replacing reason permission denied. Of course, because it's open in Hex Workshop. I'm sorry. No. Uh, I'm not sure multi hex commander would like this, but go ahead. Change again. did something uh, maybe it still works okay uh, sound volume yes perfectly so now we can actually open this file change the content and then be done with it so we can actually mod a lot of resources of max if we want to because we now change this volume uh, of whatever it means that general idle uh, gets. So thank you for watching and see you until next time with the Let's Multi-X.